So just before we get into the first of Wednesday's reviews, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I have two new pulls up on Instagram and they close in uh, a few hours. So by the time you guys see this, they will probably be closed because I'm going to close them before I go to work and uh, post post them up on Instagram uh, as the winners. And the uh, two losers will be um, head to head for Sunday. So these are, these are the other two movies that are up. Okie dokie, and uh, I'm currently watching Night and Day, which is Monday's movie review, so that will be coming for you guys probably more than, more most likely tomorrow morning, at least you stop itching, and uh, I think that's pretty much it, um, so I will stop itching, Lucy, hey, stop, so I will, uh, sorry, without further ado, let's roll the intro and get into this review. So the first of Wednesday's reviews was Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Um, this movie is um, from 1975, so it's a lot older. Um, I don't know if it would get a different rating as of today, just because of some of the humor in it. But it has a PG rating um, from the time it was from, anyway. Um, de definitely, this was this is my favorite of the uh, Monty Python movie series. Um, I did enjoy... Um, the Meaning of Life, but I didn't really enjoy The Life of Brian. I thought it was kind of a boring movie. Um, different sense of humor than what I have. Um, but, there, I mean, I would consider Life of Brian more of like a... If I remember it correctly, it was more like a musical almost than a comedy. But um, The Meaning of Life and this were definitely a comedy because they have to fight a rabid rabbit um, <laughs> in order to search... in order to get the Holy Grail. Um, so this is a comedy based on King Arthur and his search for the Holy Grail, and uh, Lancelot and Galahad and the Knights of the Round Table. Um, he basically, it starts out with King Arthur, and uh, he goes around and recruits the knights that he needs um, in order to search for the Holy Grail. And uh, yeah, the, the, the funny the funny part about that, um, they meet up with a whole bunch of different people. Um, the Black Knight, who... Uh, King Arthur defeats by chopping off all of his limbs and uh, there's a funny line in there because the Black Knight never surrenders, never gives up. He just keeps going even when he's down to hobbling on one leg and uh, even when he has no appendages left he's still still wanting to fight so that, that was actually really really funny. Um, And he says, oh it's just a flesh wound? Like, come back here. And uh, when they go to the French castle, that was probably the funny, uh, one of the funniest parts because the French um, guys are just insulting them from the castle and then throwing various animals and objects at them from uh, their catapults. So that was that was a really hilarious scene as well. Um, so th this movie definitely had tons of humor in it. Uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't meant to be taken seriously at all because they run into the Knights of Knee who um, don't like the word no. That's their number one word that they uh, absolutely hate. And it's almost like they're being defeated when um, somebody says no. And then he ends up saying it himself. And uh, he gets all um, d d uh, all sad and like terrified or whatever that he's actually said the word no. So that was really funny. Um, but the Knights of Knee get them to uh, go get a shrubbery. And then they uh, bring back the shrubbery and then the Knights of Knee change their name. And then they asked him to go get another shrubbery and cut down the strongest tree with a herring, which is a fish. So that was absolutely hilarious as well. Um, and then when they go to cross the uh, bridge, um, I believe, yeah, there, there's a there's a gatekeeper or whatever that asks them asks them three questions, and each time he changes it up. Sometimes it's like, "What is your name? What is your quest? And what is your favorite color?" And then he'll ask a uh, the second guy in line, uh, the third question is always really hard. Um, so he gets to King Arthur and he asks King Arthur the third question, uh, what, something about a s swallow. And uh, anyway, um, King Arthur goes, African swallow or, uh, was it African swallow or South American swallow? Some Something along those lines. Anyway. Two different types of swallow, and the guy goes, well, I don't know, and he gets thrown off the cliff instead of being able to throw somebody else off the cliff. So that was really funny. And uh, probably my favorite scene is when they're being chased in the cave, and it's all being done by the animator, and then um, the, the narrator comes on and says that they were being chased by the beast, and then suddenly the, uh, uh, oh god, what do they call them? I guess artist, 
uh, dies of a fatal heart attack, and it just shows this tiny clip of him going, <laughs> anyway, that, it's not meant, it, I mean, it, yeah, if you have that kind of sense of humor, it was just, it was just really well done and put together scene to make you laugh. So this movie definitely has plenty of funny parts. I, do they actually, I know there's a big battle scene at the end, so I'm not even sure if they, yeah, and then the big battle scene at the end, so, yeah, that was, that was really funny as well, um, because then the camera just, like, uh, somebody hits the camera and the camera goes off and it's just music for the last, like, two minutes, and the opening credits were hilarious, but you have to kind of read along with them because they're making uh, fun of a whole bunch of stuff. Um, as the regular credits go along, and then they say that they've sacked the people that were in charge of the credits. <laughs> so that was that was funny too. Um, so this movie definitely has lots of humor. Um, I would like I would give it a five out of five for sure, uh, just because this movie always makes me laugh every time I watch it. And uh, yeah, like with comedy movies, sometimes you miss stuff. Or like the first time I watched this, I was really really young and uh, didn't really understand everything that was in this movie. So. Now that I know a little bit more, and I'm a little, well, I'm definitely a lot older. I think the first time I saw this movie, I was maybe like, probably like 11 or 12, because I saw it at a friend's house uh, when, uh, in, in public school. He was my next door neighbor, and I think that was the very first place I saw it was at his house one time, because he asked me if I'd ever seen it before, and I said no, so we ended up watching it, and we just, we just killed ourselves laughing, um, because I used to. Well, I used to find pretty much, I still do find a lot of stuff funny. I laugh at quite a lot of stuff, but I've learned to, uh, well, I guess I've matured a lot over the years because I'm 24 now. So yeah, I'm going to be 25 in October this year. So I guess that's a, is that really, a, is that a milestone? 25 years to be alive? I guess I'm celebrating my 25th anniversary anyway. Yeah, but I guess uh, my milestone was technically last year because I was 24 on the 24th, so that that was cool. Um, I still have to carve that into a uh, chair at my buddy's house, so I'm going to do that eventually sometime when I go over. Anyway, uh, I guess this has kind of been like, uh, I don't think they'll ever redo this movie just because of the cast and... Uh, yeah, it would be huge shoes to fill with who the cast was and who the comedians were in this uh, in this movie. But this is the 40th anniversary edition, so this movie's been around for a, lo a long time. And I think I bought this movie a couple years ago, actually, and I tried to get Amanda to watch it, but it's not really her sense of humor. But she's going to try to watch it with me again, just to make through the whole movie, because I'm sure she could get a few laughs out of this if she watched it again. Um, because yeah, it is, it is a, it is a really funny movie. So that is the first of Wednesday's review, the, and the second of Wednesday's review is, I think I have it here, here somewhere. Where did it go? Well, it is Texas Killing Fields, but I can't seem to find it, so I'll have to take a look for it, because I'm not sure where it went. Actually, it might be right here. Ah, yes, there it is. Okay, so... The second of Wednesday's review is going to be that, but I decided to watch one of them at least today, just so I could get it uh, done and out of the way. That way I don't have to uh, try to watch two movies on a day that I work, because that would be very difficult. So, I will see you guys again tomorrow with a review of uh, Godzilla, because, actually, night and day first, and then I guess Tuesday's review is Godzilla, but today is Monday, so I'm trying to get night and day done right now. Um, so I will see you guys later. I guess you guys won't see this video technically till Wednesday, so I'm kind of talking about stuff that's happening in the past already, even though you guys won't see this till the future, which is odd. So I will end it off here. Um, like, comment, subscribe. As always, a link to my Instagram account below. And uh, give me your thoughts on the movie if you've seen it, if you haven't seen it. I'm sure by now a lot of people have seen this movie, so maybe this will be a more popular review. That's what I'm hoping. Um, I didn't really go too in-depth because there wasn't, like, a huge background story. It was more, it was a comedy movie, so it's kind of hard to, yeah, there wasn't really much of a story to it other than...
they were searching for the Holy Grail. That's literally the story. And yeah, I mean, that story's kind of been beaten to death, even in comedy or otherwise. So this is where I will leave off this review, and I will see you guys again later today, because today's Monday. But you guys won't see this till Wednesday, like I've said already. And then I will see you guys on Tuesday with a review of Godzilla. So this is going to kind of be an odd part of the review, but that's okay. Bye-bye for now.